I'm Justin Mott, and welcome to my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. And for those of you who follow my channel, I am sorry I've been off for a little bit. I was on three pretty big shoots, and then I came home, I was all set to film, had a bunch of stuff lined up, my wife got COVID, then I got COVID, but anyway, I'm back, I'm back strong, and today I'm gonna to be talking about this guy here. This is the Ulanzi carbon fiber tripod. I'd position this next to that highly popular carbon fiber tripod by Peak Design, which costs several hundred dollars more, uh, so can this compete at an affordable price? Well, stay tuned to find out. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about this little guy here, the Ulanzi F38 Quick Release Travel Tripod. It's carbon fiber. Um, it's kind of a clunky name, but let's call it the F38 here. First impressions in your hand, it's extremely lightweight at 1.1 kilograms. Really lightweight, something I like. And before I talk about what I like and how I use a tripod, I should say that Ulanzi did send me this tripod for free to test out. They have no say in the final video and they didn't pay me any money to do this video. Another thing I should talk about is the way that I use tripods. I am not a landscape photographer. I occasionally have to take landscape shots for travel assignments, but mostly I use a tripod for hybrid situations. So occasionally when I'm out shooting video and stills and I just need to keep something steady or when I'm filming myself for things like this, I might need a tripod on location as well. And sometimes I use it for time lapses and things like that, but I don't use a tripod in a traditional sense like most people, so I'm gonna review it how I use it because I think that's only fair and only honest of me. So this tripod here comes in at about $370, and I would position this tripod sort of in the market next to that highly popular Peak Design carbon fiber tripod that's almost, that's about double the price at over $700. And speaking of that Peak Design tripod, I used it, I bought it myself with my own money. I took it to Kenya because I wanted a lightweight tripod with me to do some video, filming myself, talking to camera, and then occasionally, yeah, if I need something in very, very low light, something like that, it's good to have a tripod with me at all times. So I like something super lightweight. And while the Peak Design was very lightweight, there's a couple things that I didn't like about it. One was it just couldn't hold up in the wind. When I was out there in the pastures filming and a gust of wind came in and I was doing a time lapse, it would move and it would ruin my time lapse. If I was shooting video, it would move and it would ruin my clips. And then I also really just never got a hang of their quick release system. I didn't like it. It was always kind of like giving me problems getting it in. I never understand how tripod companies can't get that right. Um, but Ulanzi did get right. It's a very simple quick release system here, pops in and out. Now for some people, maybe the Peak Design works well for them. I just always found it finicky. I never like trusted it. I trusted it once it was in, but I, I just had a hard time getting it in. This, I don't have that problem. There's a little button on the side here, pops in and out. It seems like something easy that everyone should get right. I don't understand how they don't. It's the same with bag companies when they make like a perfectly designed bag, but then they don't make this shoulder strap nice. It's like, how? That's where everything happens. That's where it all falls apart. If you don't get that right, it ruins everything else. And it's the same with the tripod system. It's the Achilles heel, so get it right. And Ulanzi did get it right. Now, a lot of the design features on this tripod, I would say, were maybe borrowed from Peak Design. Sort of the levers here to open the tripod have a very similar vibe to them. Uh, and then also sort of the built-in tool that Peak Design has, that little sort of built-in tool in case you want to make any adjustments here. Ulanzi has this as well. It's got this little thing that unscrews here. So you've got your little tool here. If you need to make any adjustments here, tighten anything, it's built into the system, which is a nice feature, but the first time I saw it was on Peak Design, so I don't know who did it first, but that's the first time I saw it. It's also got this little hook on the bottom, so if you do want to weigh it down, you can. If you are in a situation where it's windy, you could put a little sandbag on here to weigh it down, make it more stable. I would say this tripod is also not going to be like extremely stable in high wind conditions. Um, one of my favorite things about this tripod here though is this. As a hybrid shooter, someone that wants to do video as well, someone that owns their own fluid tripod head, and sometimes I want those movements, it does come with this cool little 0 1 4 little attachment here. So you've got the screw on top. So if you have your own fluid head or you can buy their fluid head, you can take out the center column here on their tripod and you can add this little guy in and use it that way. That's a nice little bonus feature there. I really dig that they thought of that because a lot of people out there are hybrid shooters these days. So in addition to that nice quick release system, they've also got their own little native quick release system. So if you're one of those people that likes to like wear your camera and have one of those like 
little quick release straps on your bag or something like that, this will work within their system as well. So you can check all their stuff out on their website. They've got a nice little mounting screw on the side here, a one fourth screw. That really does come in handy if you wanna attach a monitor, you wanna attach a light or any different accessories here, you can attach it right on the side here. I love that they thought of that. As far as the extension and the height of this, it goes from 15.3 centimeters all the way up to 156 centimeters, so it gets to a pretty decent height. It is fast to open and close, a very, very quick system. Again, fast with the quick release system for the head here. These little knobs here, everything's built really nicely. It's got this 360 panoramic head here. You just take this little lever here, you open it up, very intuitive, very simple to use, and you can rotate there And you want when you wanna lock it in. Boom, you just close it there with your thumb. You could do it one-handed like this if you want, so that does come in handy as well. Like most tripods, it has a built-in level here on the side. That's nice to have when tripods don't do that. I never understand. I'm always like, why? We all want to level our stuff, so put a level in there. And again, the weight is very, very light, and it packs up very small as well. Functionality, I would say it works extremely well, very intuitive. It's got those nice little features in there. Again, the highlights for me are that additional center column, the quick release plate here on the top that works perfectly, as they all should. It packs up quick and easy, which is important to me, and the biggest thing for me is that it's very, very lightweight at 1.1 kilograms. Again, I don't always need a tripod, but it's nice to have one on you just in case, so I don't want to really feel it in my bag and I don't want to feel the strain of carrying it around and this you don't because because again it's very very light weight. I've seen a lot of products out there by Ulanzi on YouTube and I was you know a little skeptical because a lot of times you push these products out there you know get them to all the big YouTubers and then you get them to like the second tier then the third tier then you get them to people like me try them out um, but you know I like it and I'm a pro photographer I've used this for a bit I really dig it it works really nicely it does everything I want it to do and it does so at half the price of that Peak Design tripod. Again, I used that Peak Design tripod for a couple weeks in Central Kenya, and like a couple days after I got back, I sold it. So if you're in the market for that tripod, if that's something that you're interested in, and this is not a knock on Peak Design. I actually like their products quite a bit. I use their products on my phone as well. I use their little Go system here. I've got their little mobile tripod. Their mobile system, I think it's called, a Go system, and their iPhone case, and their mount for my bike, and I dig it. I like their products. I'm not big on their bag design, but a lot of people like their bags and use their bags and have good things to say about their bags, but I just wasn't impressed with that tripod. I used it in a professional capacity and wasn't happy with it. This I've been using, and I'll say for that price point at about half the price, it's much better value obviously, and you get basically all the same stuff. And I actually think in a lot of ways it's better than the Peak Design tripod. For, so for cons, I wouldn't say there's much bad to say about this tripod for the price point. Maybe for one of those people that really cares about like innovation, uh, I would say, I think, I don't know this, so I'm just gonna say this and put it out there. I do think they borrowed a lot of design features from the Peak Design tripod, so if you care about who did it first, you know, in the original designers, then yeah, go with the Peak Design tripod. If you wanna save yourself 300-ish dollars, then go with the Ulanzi. It's a nice tripod, I'm very happy. It's something I would probably buy if I didn't already own my Gitzo tripod, which I'm quite happy with, and that cost $1,000, and I would say, this could easily compete with that and for a lot less money. So that's the Ulanzi F38 quick release carbon fiber travel <coughs> tripod. Wow, I said that all right the first time. I think so. Anyway, that's it. Again, comes in at about $370. I will put a discount code in the description box below. I'll put a link to this product so you can learn more about it if you're interested in the description box below. That's it for today, guys. Again, don't forget to check out my workshop if you're interested in joining me in Vietnam, if you're interested in getting better at your photography and seeing Vietnam through my eyes, through your own eyes, but also through my eyes, also through your camera and kind of through my camera and kind of through my camera as well. Anyway, check that out. I've only got six slots left. I'll put a link in the description box below. You can sign up now. That will take place in March 2023. We're going to shoot here in Hanoi, then go up to Sapa. It's going to be an amazing trip. If you miss it, it's your fault. You didn't sign up. Buy yourself a little Christmas present. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to have a wonderful day. Bye.